Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. And uh, today's, well, this evening's project, we're going to turn a acrylic pen. Now, I have done some pen turning in the past on wooden pens, and I recently started doing some acrylic ones, and I love these the way that they turn out. Um, I've got a new one today. This is Lavender Fantasy. It's a beautiful purple and white colour. Um, so that's going to turn out really nice. I'm going to put that with a silver hardware. Hopefully that's going to turn out lovely. I've got the lathe set up, so I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you at the end. Okay, so the first step is we need to cut down the blank to two halves, and I've set the stop on my sled to just a little bit over the length of these blank inserts. Uh, now my fingers are going to be awfully close, so what I'm going to use here is two pencils with rubber tips on the end, I'm going to hold it down like so, and I'm going to push it through. Um, I don't feel confident enough to put my fingers down that close to a blade, so this is what I use. Um, as long as you've got the rubber on the ends, that'll, pe that'll provide plenty of grip. So there we go, so we've got two, drill, uh, two equal bits now. So we're going to take these over to the drill press now, we're going to drill a 7mm hole down in the middle and then we're going to rough up the pen blank uh, and we're going to super glue that into place. Um, also, the, the position of the hole needs to be as near as centred as you can get it, but don't worry about it having to be exactly in the middle. Because don't forget, once you've turned this on the lathe and it's going to be turning on that point where you've drilled, all of this excess stuff is going to come off anyway. So don't worry about having to measure from corner to corner and getting your drill right in that, that sweet spot. Somewhere near, it's good enough. So now I'm just going to rough up the sides of these of the brass inners and I'm going to use 240 sandpaper for that one and I'm just going to make sure that the glue has got a great surface to adhere to. Okay so I'm just going to put some uh, CA glue on the, the brass inners now and I'm going to put some as well down inside there and then I'm going to give it some activator and hopefully that will give a good nice tight bond. Okay back over at the pen press now and with this tool here in the drill press is the barrel trimming tool and we're just going to take that down so that the top of the blank is the same height as the brass. And that's it. So all the prep work is done now and I have the blank loaded onto the mandrel and it's set up on the pre on the, the lathe ready to go. Uh, I'm going to use two chisels. Um, my two chisel choice is number one is this one, I believe it's the skew chisel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is my tool. And I'm also going to use this, I think it's a bowl gouge, uh, I'm not sure, you guys will be able to tell me I'm sure. Um, and that's what I'm going to use for getting rid of most of the, the material. And then I'm going to shape it with the, uh, with the skew chisel. Uh, so let's get going. Oh, another thing is that when I am turning, especially with the acrylic, with it being plastic, um, I will be using a full face shield. Uh, and this, this is my, uh, my one of choice. 
Although it does tend to fog up quite a lot, especially now that it's so cold out here at the moment. It's one degrees out here today, so it's, uh, it's a bit chilly. Anyway, let's get on with the turning. Just to show you what I've done there is I've just beveled off these edges and I'm trying to get it down to the same width as this bearing here and I'm going to do that on the both sides and on there and that should give me the right width then for when I put the pen together. Let's talk a little bit about the sander. What we're going to start off with first is we're going to go 240 first, then I'm going to move to 320, then 400, 600, 800, and then 1000. In between each grit, I'm then going to stop the lathe and I'm going to polish this way by hand, and then I'll move on to the next grit up and I'll repeat the process. I'll stand it while the, uh, the lathe is turning, then I'll stop it, stand it by hand, and I'll keep moving up. Once we get past the thousand, we'll then move on to the micro mesh, which is the wet sanding, um, and that will give it a nice polish, and then we'll see that come up lovely and beautiful then. Um. Is there. So that's it, that's coming up really really nice, there's a little line on there so I'm just going to go back over that a little bit and then I'll start the, uh, the micro mesh sanding. Okay so when you get your micro mesh you get given this colour chart and it starts at 1500 and it goes all the way down to 120,000 and it tells you the colour order that you can go through to get down to your thing. Now I've got mine already stacked up in that order ready to go so I can just wet sand that now all the way down and that's going to really bring up um, the polish on the surface of that of that acrylic pen and it's going to look a nice one
There she is. All polished up. That's come out really nice. Currently don't have a pen press for putting these together so what I use is my um, my adjusting tool otherwise known as a, a wooden mallet um, you've got to be properly careful though um, I did was doing one here before Christmas um, for a friend of mine and I actually ended up cracking the the uh, the acrylic here because I was putting this in and I bent it at an angle so you you've got to be careful with it Anyway, we'll see how this one goes. Um, obviously, if you do have a pen press, use it. It's much better than this method. Um, but it's all I've got at the moment, so. What I also like to do is when I've got the, the twist mechanism in place is I'll get the the, the filter or the the refill on the inside and I'll put it in and I'll see how far out the nib comes and I can see that that hasn't come out far enough so that needs to go forward down a bit more and then try again Just a little bit more. And that's perfect. And that's it, done. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope the camera angles weren't too bad and I know the lighting's kind of poor so you don't really get the true idea. Uh, but that's how it turned out. I'm really pleased with it. It's a beautiful looking thing. Um, and that's going to make a nice present, so I'll sell that on the market, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, hopefully. Anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.